you so high. You got a little queasy feeling, yo. That looks like the Titanic. The Titanic is up there. At least we got a boat behind us if we do. You got a boat behind us. So I guess we'll be alright if we fall in. Golly, way up in the air, y'all. We made it. We're here at the champ's house. We're changing diapers right now. Wife's yes. changing diapers. Oh. Brev, what are you doing? I, I need <laughs> everything. He's just running around. But we got here. So uh, just a few minutes, we're gonna get started on the Ike Live. You wanna go up where? Up there. No, we're just gonna, let's go in here. We're about to do the Ike Live show. You can be in here with us. It all goes down. I don't listen to the piano anymore. Everywhere. Oh God. It's pretty involved. Here's the man of the hour, Ike. Pete. Hey everybody. Dave. Dave. <laughs> the carpenter's back there. And Eric's back there. I forgot already. I literally like five minutes ago, dude. So now we're here wrecking Ike's toys now. Go. Go. <laughs> Three nothing. Three nothing. Dude. Wrecking this youngster. I'm wrecking him. I'm wrecking this little dude right now. Oh, where'd you where'd it go? I know, probably in like a video here. Um. Before this competition starts, Brian, I, I before this fishbowl competition starts, I did wanna, I wanna, uh, oh gosh, crack crack if I'm crack crack if I'm wrong. Is this how it works? Yeah. It's because. <laughs> There's too much going on, I can't remember. <laughs> the question right now for the fishbowl game, the question is, what is the first rod combo, rod and or combo that one of the anglers in this room, the first rod or combo, the, uh, the combo is a Shimano Bantam Reel, I tell you, spending some time on the Ike Live show was definitely something I'll never forget for the rest of my life. I don't think anyone in the fishing industry can deny the impact that Ike has had on all of us, uh, whether you like him or whether you don't. But I'm definitely a fan of Ike and Nelly. He's one of the guys that I definitely can relate to the most. And on this podcast right here, we talked about everything from the start of my career to the start of Ike's career. Um, to families and bass fishing to just about anything that you can imagine that has to do with fishing so check out the link in the description box of this video and you'll be able to listen to that podcast and hear everything that we talked about hanging out with carpenter today and he's showing me his boat bill you guys know i got an aluminum boat fetish that's right so you're showing me his, what is this one? A, a tracker? Yeah. Yeah, it's a 16-foot tracker. 16-foot tracker here. Okay. This one looks good. Okay. Not speakers. No way, dude. Boom boom in the trunk. I'm here for a good time, bro. Uh, for, <laughs> Not for a long time. It's got a PS16. This is probably the most interesting part here. My man has put a hydraulic jack plate on the Torquedo. It's electric, because you said all the all the lakes around here are, are electric, right? Yeah, we're like 90% electric. 90% electric. So now he's got... We got a five horse Torquedo, which runs off a 24 volt lithium battery. And, um, and we got the TH Reen Atlas Micro Jack Plate. Yeah, dude, he put a jack plate on the electric motor. Gangster. That's what's up. Straight up gangster. <laughs> yeah, that's that's about it, bro. Yeah. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Kill him. God, dude, how thick is that thing? 
God, that measuring board's bigger than Beyonce, dude. Let me see that. <laughs> she's thick. That's that pretty is cool. The, that is the thickest, but that's great because you know what happens? Is you always step on your measuring board in the boat and bend it. Yeah. And then it's no good anymore. Dude, that thing slides right in there. And yeah. Just like butter. Disappears all flush-like. Just like butter. So my man's got four six-inch speeches in speak. I said speechers. Speechers. He's got four six-inch speakers. One, two, three, four. Only reason he put it in four is because his other buddy had two. He's so got the LED lighting inside the tank here. Of course, the same ones you've seen on my boat. TH Marine. That little kit is the dopest light kit you could buy. Easy to do. What color are these, bro? They're white. White, yeah, the white ones are the one I White inside the hatch is alive. Well, I'll get that. Yeah. Got the TH oxygenator back there on the back oxygenator wall. Oxygenator too. Yep. We got our pump in, our pump out, our circulator. That's, that's all TH Marine stuff. Just that's like right. in the bass boat. Yep. Just like in the bass boat right there. And then we got, was that just a dry storage? Yeah. We got the glove box. Yeah. We got that. So what are we running? Trolling motor rods, 24 volt trolling motor? No, we got we got the uh, 112 four tracks. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what we just got. So four tracks up top. Yeah. So I'll have three three batteries in here, and then one of them's doubling as a house battery using these. Yeah. Uh, that's the TH Marine deal. The Hydra. Yeah. That's a TH Hydra. So we we'll spider off all our connections off of the one, yeah. the one house battery. Cool. I like to step up in aluminum though, dude, because I did I did the plywood and it just adds so much weight to your boat yeah. when you deck out the, the boat in uh in plywood. It's so much better. It's lighter, it's done forever. Whatever you put on here sticks too. Yeah. Because this is what is decking it is using. You said this is called marine mat. Marine mat. Marine mat. It's got all different kind of colors in here. Dude, it's like, it's, I feel like a woman picking out tiles for the bathroom. <laughs> what color? No, I'm no gonna yet. go, I'm going with a, with a mo mostly, they're not on here, like a gray base. And then I'm gonna highlight with probably um, red. Oh, I got you. Little, like, like maybe run a strip of red around the hatches. I think you'd do purple. Purple rain. Like Grimace? Yeah. You purple like Prince, dude. No, Prince the man. Yeah. Yeah, here you go. Purple Drop that Prince. in there. This is a cup holder? Yeah. A light, a lit cup holder. That's right, baby. It's lit. So, is that a TH Marine deal, too? It's a TH Marine product. Jeez, what does TH Marine not make? Uh, he found it yet. He found it. Oh, that's the battery for the torpedo that's, a, that's, dude, that's a, the powerhouse that's the lithium that's your power head yeah <laughs> that's his power head so dude this battery um it's 24 volt battery and it talks to it's the smart. motor so you're saying it's smart it's smart it's, yeah. it's artificially intelligent yeah and when you're drawing when you're drawing on on your motor it's talking to the battery and you get a readout up here of, of where exactly is that? how how much runtime you have left at that speed at that amp draw. yeah 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 so to gotcha. tell you you've got you've got you know four miles left running at 75 percent what's the i wonder what the speed is on that thing five miles an hour it's a five horse so so it's a true five horse it's a five, i think five or five yeah. and a half horse it's no. probably more than 10 miles an hour or so it might yeah it might and that all depends on the boat, man. Yeah, because you're gonna have a lot up front. And that's that's the thing. Like we had the guy from Torquedo out here. Yeah. And I originally had all my batteries back here. Yeah. And he said you got to get it up front because this really? is a cleaning hull. Oh. This ain't like a bass boat where you want the weight, you know, and you want. To yeah, yeah, it. yeah. You want to keep it flat. You want to keep it flat. Yeah. He's like, if you if you could put a styrofoam cup back here and it and it follows you across the lake. You've got a lot of drag. Yeah. You want that thing to just release, so we I ended up you. changing our whole boat build around and moving the three batteries up front. Yeah. To get some weight up there and even it out a bit. Yeah. So we got we got our oh, voltmeter. It's got everything in here, man. Yeah. And this, this is his dash panel, basically, like on a bass boat. Twelve volt receptacle. Oh my. Pete, I want you to talk Hold about. On. Why this question? Oh, it's already on Ike Live. You've given this a lot, but I want you to re-mention. Oh. 
A lot of these units help side imaging is real important. But for a guy that's buying his first unit, it's intimidating. Optics, Garmin, uh, I, I do understanding. Uh, see with your eyes. See. Oh yeah, if you, you're running the yellow text, you gotta grab one of these lights. Right? I was telling Eric, like you could you could put one at the bow too, though. But I mean, it does get in the way. But 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 think about the thing about it. It does get in the way. But what if you're just trying to do like, uh, hey, this is how I tie up a drop shot. It made this song. Hey, come on, man. We're trying to shoot a video here. <laughs> <laughs> so a buddy of mine welds these up, but that's my foot pedal truck. Oh, so this is custom? Yeah. Gotcha. And I got this, uh, I actually have some attachments, too. So this this can mount up front, uh, another drink holder and pliers. Yeah, and pliers or whatever you need. Dead Senkos. Yeah, yeah. That's this, what it ends up being. You know, that's what I've learned about a recessed foot pedals. They end up being a place where all your crap goes and piles up down here. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's got a yeah, drain, drain tube that will go down underneath the decks. Dude, make that thing bigger. That's going to clog up in a second. Yeah. Probably will. It will. Mine is like that big and it's still quite. It's still <laughs> really? <laughs> PF-16. Dude, I haven't heard of that one before. PF-16. I gotta find me another one. I think I'm actually gonna buy a new one this year. Got the, the micro anchor on the back. How this works, it's electronic. Works just like the power poles in the boat. You can control it inside of the boat. There's a huge spike that goes down through here. I think it's what, eight or 10 foot? Something like that? Yep. And you can get you can get any length you want. You can go to Granger and get yourself a three oh, really? quarter fiberglass rod. Oh, so you can put any kind of rod in there yep. you want. Yep. Yeah, so a spike goes down in here and you just power it up and down. I've got one for my boat. I hadn't installed I'll have it. I'll switch up front for it. It holds up to I think was it sixteen hundred pounds or twelve hundred pounds, something like that. You can put it up on any boat to that that amount of weight. You, think you gotta go big dog and get two at the back though. Right? Yeah. Sure. All the cool kids are doing it. Yeah. Carpenter's boat's pretty tight, isn't it? So all right, Brian. I've done this before, so I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see what his answer is gonna be on this. <laughs> what is your projected finish date on that rig? Uh, You're construction man, so I know you know how this goes. Uh, well, I'm waiting on some things to come in, so I got a little bit of delay. Um, I'm gonna say, unfortunately, finished, finished. I'll, I'll be on the water in three weeks, two to three weeks. Oh, booty. <laughs> Look for this boat to be finished. It's all it's all Ike's yeah. channel, right? Yeah, uh, finished. I thought you said, yeah. yeah. Finished. finished. When is this finished, project finished? finished? August. Like finished. August. I say I want to give him May 2020. Oh, is what I want to say. You're killing me. I, that's what I want to say, May 2020. Oh, On my me. little aluminum boat, I think it took me about a year and a half or two years. Now I was fishing out of it, but it wasn't finished. That's right. So I'm going to give him. Fishing out of it. I'm going to give him May 20, May 20. Next year is 2020, right? That's right. 2020, May 2020. I, I think you'll see the finished project. Yeah. August. Uh, August. I think you have to do it. You got to work on it every day. Are you working on it every day? No. Oh yeah. Once every week or two. Oh yeah. I'm yeah. getting a couple hours here and there. Yeah. We started August. it in February. It's now June. It's now mid June. Um, but it's once every couple of weeks or two. It's just super busy, man. You know how it is. I give it to him. At least you have a crew. I didn't have a crew. It was just me. I got one guy. You got one guy. That's a crew. That's you do like everybody else's company. We're going to get it done. Like you're a big company. You got one guy. That's right. We're going to see. I'm going to keep him in check on that. So we'll, we'll, we'll report back to let you know if it's done in August. I will check on you in August. That's right. If that boat's not on the water. It's going to be in the water in three weeks, man. I'm fishing a tournament. Two to three weeks. Yeah. Susan Babbage. Carpenter's going to need a boat to borrow. So anybody put in the comment <laughs> section if you can let Carpenter borrow a boat for this tournament up here in Jersey.